Hey guys, this is the Penny Pinching Prepper here, and uh, if you like what you see, consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up. If you have anything you want to add or talk about, leave it below in the comments and all that great stuff. And for the first time, I'm actually going to ask you guys to share this video out. Um, this video today is out of my norm, okay? Not, not in my private life, but here on YouTube. This, this is definitely going to be out of my norm. And uh, what I really want to talk about today is all the content creators, especially, but everybody under attack all right in in their lives and it's happening a lot more frequently especially in the youtube community um the well the any one of these apps whether it be twitter or whatever people are really starting to attack each other uh call them names tell them they're no good call them fear mongers call them you know, money hungry, grubbing people, uh, you know, a, a lot more of this is going on, I notice. I mean, heck, I've got a, a whopping 52 subscribers and even I've gotten some some hate, you know, which is no big deal. Uh, to me, I, I, I really don't care. I, I grew up my whole life uh, being picked on and... and teased and looked down upon and, and so I've I've gained quite the uh, the armor to roll that stuff off um, and uh, eventually I, I learned that the only opinion that matters in life is you know my Lord and Savior Jesus and, and his father God which is also my father <clears throat> so really Outside of those two opinions, nothing really matters to me ultimately. I mean, yes, I'm married. My wife's opinion matters. My friend's opinions matter. But at the end of the day, they can't hurt me the same way, you know, my Lord and Savior can. Uh, so, in, in, in realizing that... Uh, it makes it a lot easier to realize that, you know, humans are humans. We have anger, we have jealousy, greed, grief, all of these things, and we tend to lash out with emotions. Um, and uh, it, it's something that some of us can work on, some of us should work on. Um, but ultimately, we're all going to be guilty of it because we have feelings and we have emotions and we can be hurt. And the enemy knows this. And he knows that the best way to destroy a good thing, like the prepping community, is to play them against each other. The same way he has this country, the same way he has this world, he has separated and segregated us to the point where... We think everybody outside of our group is wrong or evil or bad or whatever. And there might be truth to that. In fact, there is truth to some of that. But not to the point where we shouldn't be extending olive branches when we see someone suffering or when somebody's hating on us to kill them with kindness you know i mean one of the the hates i got the only thing i could think of that wasn't of anger was to tell them you know god bless you and your comment you know so guys more than ever we really need to come together as a community and, and help each other and be there for each other. And, you know, 
us con content creators, we need to be able to reach out when we see, you know, fellow content creators struggling, suffering, having issues, whatever people who are just merely observers, you know, uh, it doesn't hurt to be there for your, your, your content creators, you know, to lift them when you see they're wrong or ask questions of, of personalness. I mean, the worst they can do is not answer you. No big deal, you know, but this community should not fall apart. You know, there shouldn't be a reason why the hardcore military warmongers can't figure out a way to coexist with the off the grid peace loving hippies because they're both preppers. They're both preppers. I mean, in their own way, but they're both preppers. So, you know, or a, a lot of us, you know, Christian preppers, um, you know, we get a lot of grief for talking about the fact that, you know, we have certain beliefs that, that keep us from wanting to do certain types of things or participating in a, a certain type of thing or... You know, we might ultimately, instead of um, going to our guns as their ultimate uh, uh, great end-all, be-all equalizer, we might, you know, go to prayer first. Um, you know, we might not want to go on the aggressive side. We might want to only be on the defensive side because that's what our Lord and Savior told us to be. You know, he, he told us to draw weapons for defense, not to draw weapons as an offense. I mean, it's all throughout the Bible, all throughout the Bible, Old Testament and New. Um, so... Well, the prophets of the New Testament talk about uh, the Old Testament and uh, what God and Jesus said. I mean, because ultimately we don't have God and Jesus in our, our New Testament other than through our prophets and disciples. So, <clears throat> uh, or I should say our disciples, not our prophets, excuse me. But... So, in, in knowing all of this, you know, we need to be willing to, to look at the fact that we all prep from different aspects, but we're all prepping for the same thing, you know, to take care of our loved ones, to take care of ourselves, and to be prepared for, you know, what's, what's coming. And obviously something's coming, you know, obviously there is a bad stench in the air. Um, you know, there's wars and rumors of wars. There's famines. There's disease and pestilence. There's, I mean, I can go on, guys. I mean, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but maybe you're just not connecting the dots as Christians. Um... As other preppers, I'm sure you're probably connecting the dots, just not from, you know, warning. It's just from common sense. You know, it, it doesn't matter which angle you're coming from. We all feel something coming. We all see something coming. It's, it's obvious. So now more than ever is a time to be lifting each other up instead of cutting each other down, instead of criticizing and saying, oh, don't get this prep because of this, you know, you know, after watching a video on somebody else is, is preps. And, you know, even I am, am somewhat guilty of this, but at this point, 
things are, are snowballing. You know, the little snowball at the top of the hill was years ago, before I started prepping, before I realized, you know, why it was important to prep, you know. The, the snowball's been going for a while, and now it's down towards the bottom of the hill, and it is huge. It is ready to hit something and destroy things. And so, you know, right now it should be, yeah, recommend what works and what's great, but ultimately don't criticize people if all they can afford is, you know, something rinky-dink, you know, like a, a cheap Mora knife instead of a, a, a nice, um, you know, uh, cold steel or something. So, it's, it's not that I'm trying to get on people about doing these things. I, I really want there to be more of an understanding of, of patting each other on the back, reaching out to each other beyond YouTube about being there, about figuring out ways to have meeting places if the grid goes down, whether you're one type of prepper or another type of prepper, we're all going to have something to bring to the table. So this, this bickering back and forth and your type of prepping is not as good as my type of prepping, is not as good as that type of prepping mentality and Negativity is just, it's, it's not what we need right now, guys. I mean, it's not right to begin with, but more than ever, we just don't need it. Guys, be there for one each other. Lift each other up. See the writing on the wall and, you know, prepare for it. Yeah, and allow your strange, weird friend, or not, excuse me, not friend, but the strange, weird neighbor two blocks down, help him or allow him to help you. You know, he might be strange, but, you know, so then, then I'm strange. I mean, I, I, I'm a goofball. I'm, I'm a wacko. I'm a whatever you want to call it. I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. I'm all kinds of stuff. You know, I, I've been called it all when it comes to that type of stuff. And, and granted, I, I know I'm a little um, high strung sometimes. And I don't mean like high strung, like I'm going to snap. But I'm sure if you're one of my subscribers, you'll see in my other videos how I can kind of see like I'm all wound up, just moving, 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 you know, I'm, I'm guilty too, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of being what most people would consider eccentric, I guess is the best word, uh, whatever, but I have a lot to offer, I have a lot to share, you know. There's other people out there that are in the same boat I am in, in the same boat that you're in, where we're being picked on for no good reason other than the fact that for some reason we're being separated because as the great Abraham Lincoln once said, a house divided cannot stand. So, guys, think about that. Everything is being separated, segregated in one manner or another, no matter what. It's just happening. You know, the, the, the powers of B, the, the Antichrist, the government, the whatever you want to consider it to be, realize that it's happening and it's not just in our politics, it's in everything everything i mean i watch some gardening groups 
all right um not here on youtube but uh in a uh, uh what's it called uh oh i can't think of it right now but um even they're bickering back and forth gardening groups Everybody knows that there's a thousand different ways to garden. I mean, yeah, some are going to produce better than others. You know, some te techniques will produce better than others, hands down, no questions. But at the end of the day, if you're getting out there and you're teaching somebody how to garden and you're, you're getting people interested in gardening, well, why knock them? Why knock them? Why... Why say your style is, you know, the only way to do things? There's a hundred different ways to do things. You know, I'm not going to say some aren't better than others, but as long as the job gets done, ultimately that's what should matter. So, guys, I, I, I can't really say too much more on this other than Extend some olive branches to your fellow creators, to your your um, subscribers. Subscribers, you know, extend olive branches to your content creators. Channels that you wouldn't normally watch, maybe watch. You might pick something up on it. You know? It's time for us to come together. I, I know some of you have been screaming this exact same thing all in different ways. But ultimately, we need to find ways to communicate and help each other in more personal ways than just this YouTube. And we need to stop knocking each other. We just do. We need to stop knocking each other. It's time to start lifting each other and coming together as a prepping community, a, a, a one, one gathering of, of us, you know, not the hippie preppers, the military preppers, the gear preppers, the bushcraft preppers, the, you know, guys, we're all preppers. We all have prepping in the name. So, guys, on that note, if you're Christians, be in the Word, you know. Uh, if you're a, a, a man or a woman of faith, get in your Bible. Start doing that hard research that you didn't want to do. I know how hard it is to get into Revelations. I know how hard it is to get into the end times. You know, if it's Something that's just too hard for you to want to try to wrap your heads around. There's this awesome channel out there. It is God, Family, and Guns. And he has been doing an incredible, incredible ministry to, to help people better understand step by step, paragraph by paragraph, word by word, through... Uh, through uh, revelations and and a couple of other things that are extremely helpful and he really doesn't teach anything outside of the bible he doesn't bring any books into it he doesn't bring bible studies into it he doesn't bring anything into it except for the scripture that he puts right up there on the screen for you to see straight out of his personal bible so you know, check him out. Maybe, maybe he can help, you know, us people of faith in, in trying times. And even if you're not, I mean, it's God, family, and guns. I mean, he does guns too. He does family stuff. You know, check him out for that. Maybe you'll learn something in other places, you know. Not trying to tell you what to do, not trying to push the Lord or anything like that. I mean, ultimately, we're all free of choice, you know, do as you please. But a, a man of faith must always 
at least try to plant a seed. So on that note, guys, I just really want to tell you that it, it's been a lot of fun being a part of this community. And I have learned a lot and I have definitely made a couple of friends. And I suggest that we all try to do that. So whether it's as content creators or as subscribers, I'm not going to drag this out any longer, guys. I, I think I've made my message clear. And if anybody needs help in any manner, I've made it clear. Reach out to me, all right? Penny Pinching Prepper 77 at Gmail. Leave comments down below. I am always willing to to help on projects, help on ideas, and even just be there for prayers or for uh, encouraging uh, comments, whatever I can do to help. I mean, ultimately, that's what I started this channel for. It, it wasn't for recognition. It, it wasn't for anything other than to help people uh, be better prepared. And a part of being better prepared is, is mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. You know, some people would disagree with that, but that's, that's my opinion. And I believe I'm entitled to it, just like I believe you're entitled to yours. So guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Remember, God's good. God bless.